And the you can question me, but I, I, I'm not answering any of your questions. And, and you're illegally that's detaining fine, me. Sir. Right now, you ask for a supervisor. The supervisor is coming. Are you still detaining me? Right now, you ask for a supervisor. I'm supervisor. asking you a specific question. Are you still detaining me? Right now, I'd like I'm to asking, go. Am I being detained? Right now, we're asking for a supervisor, and it's coming. I okay, but now, sir. now I'm asking you another question. You told me the supervisor is yes, coming. We're looking into now I'm asking situation. you. Yes, right now. Can I speak? Look, yes, right now we're looking into the situation. Okay. So that's so, it. Right so, now we're looking into the situation. Sir, you still haven't answered my question. Sir, right now we're looking. Can into you the please situation. stop interrupting me? You said three times. Hey guys, this is an exclusive video that was sent to my email, recordpolicenow at gmail.com. An Essex County Sheriff's deputy out of Newark, New Jersey, arrives and gets flagged down by a young man and is told that another man says inappropriate things. A young man points to the man and the officer begins to ask the man questions. And this is the moment the man begins to record. Let's have a look. What's your name, sir? I had a young gentleman uh, stopped me at Brantford Park uh, at a charter Boston center stating that he had an uh, interaction with another gentleman uh, asking him an appropriate question. Uh, I have a gentleman here speaking with somebody right now. What's up, buddy? No, I just went to use the bathroom. I asked the guy if there was a bathroom around here, and he said something. I said something. something I don't know what he's saying. So I was just going home. I was came to pick up a rental car. I was going through. I live over there. All right, guys, so let's get right into it. I watched this video at least five times because I'm trying to figure out exactly what's going on here. Now pay attention. The cop comes by a youngster who's under the age of 18, pointed to the man and said that he's saying inappropriate things. And from my understanding, the kid thought he said something like, where's the head or give me some head or something like that. The young man then gets in his car and takes off. By the time the cop's talking to this man, there is absolutely no victim left. By law, the cop pretty much cannot do anything to this man. But I want to point something out, guys. This man says that he's looking for the head, looking for the restroom, whatnot. But he just now said that he lives right down there. So how does this man live right down there, but does not know where the restroom is? That's the one thing that I find very odd. But I do want to point this out. Words and terms seem to change throughout the years. You can say something today like, where's the head, which pretty much, if I'm not mistaken, was something that they started using in the military when referring to the restroom. But now, if you ask a kid, where's the head, damn kid might think you're asking them for some damn head. Who knows if this man is innocent or guilty? Is he out there trying to hook up with other fellas? I don't know. What I do know is that when it comes down to law, there are certain things that a police officer can and can't do. For one, he has to have reasonable, articulable suspicion that the man committed a crime in order to further investigate. And he also has to have SAF. He needs to have a singular, articulable fact that the man has committed a crime. Since there is no victim, there's nothing the officer can do. He has to let the man go. Keep watching to see what happens, folks. All right, so right now, okay, sir, so right now, I'm speaking to you about the situation that we have. Okay. A gentleman. I'm not going to answer any of your questions, sir. All right, so right now, I'm looking into this and I'm speaking okay. to you. Okay. All right. Am I being detained? Huh? Am I being detained? Right now, I'm speaking to you. What so am I? Am I being detained? I'm asking you a question. So right now, I'm investigating. The okay. Situation right Go now. do your investigation. I'm asking you if I'm being detained. Right now, while I'm asking you, yes, you are. What am I being detained for, sir? You what is your reasonable, you said, articular suspicion yes. that a crime has you been said committed? The exact uh, description of the gentleman that just stated you were right here. What what articular suspicion of that a crime do it, you? Sir. What what is the crime, sir? That is it. What is the crime? Inappropriate. You asked the gentleman what, an inappropriate question. What inappropriate question did I ask him? Regards to sex. To him. No, I did not. I, I no. Okay. So what is the crime, uh, sir? What that's what I'm telling you. You're going to say no right now. Okay. I'm what? It, what? It, okay. You investigate. What is your articulable suspicion of a crime that you're, that you're being detained? Me? What is the crime, sir? That you're asking a minor that he stated that he was just turned 18, that he was a minor, or you asked him before. Uh, I asked him before. So now your yeah, story has changed three times. Right there, sir. You asked him before. Not I just asked now. him. Okay. And he said that you asked him an appropriate question. So right now. I'm asking you for your name. I'm not giving you my name unless you articulate a crime. Uh, right now, we're stating to you what this gentleman says. And right now, I'm going to get it to him. Okay. So I want a supervisor. You know, you, 
got a boss coming over. Uh -huh. What's up, buddy? I, I happen to work for the sheriff's office. I'm off duty. Okay. I just come in what over here to say what's up. What is your name and your badge number, sir? I'm Officer Gonzalez. Okay. Okay. Badge number 49. Okay. I'm off duty. Okay. Okay. I just came to meet him. That's he fine. He has a supervisor on Okay. I, I still want to know but if I'm being detained. Quick, from, from what I'm understanding, okay. Okay. From my coworker, you're saying. Hey, uh, yes. you got you got a call for service, or you got flagged down? That's something right there. Okay, so you got flagged down here, and yes. and a gentleman said that this guy matching the description and he pointed came to up to him and asked him an inappropriate question. Yes. Okay, and he happens to match the description. Where's, the where's that? Where's the that guy? Actually, just got in the vehicle right there over the white. He didn't. Car. So he there's didn't, there's didn't nobody here right now. He didn't. He didn't want to be. Uh, no, identified or anything like that he just told you what happened and, and wanted to keep moving here. which is hearsay okay well okay, listen am i being detained well, listen. Oh, uh, yes, am i being because detained? it's a lawful, yes. investigation. Okay. A lawful yeah. investigation we're having a supervisor on his way now but well, listen this is not a lawful investigation listen. you're detaining me illegally right now listen sir i'm whether, not speaking to you because you're not your, on duty okay, okay. but whether so it's now what is your articulable suspicion that a crime has been committed sir that the gentleman just what gentleman are you speaking of Gentleman that just spoke to Where, Where's that gentleman right now? Uh, he just stepped away. Sir, he stepped away. Favor. I'm speaking to you right okay. now. Okay. Okay. And I'm not going to answer any more questions. That's fine. You don't have to so, answer me. I just explained. No, I understand. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, because uh, uh, right now, right now I'm being illegally detained. Right now I'm being illegally detained, and you're being a part of it. You're being a part. I'm trying to help you out, sir. Well, you're not trying to help me out because you're you're allowing him to illegally detain me right now. I'm explaining it to you. But you're not explaining it. You need to explain it to him because he's illegally detaining me right now because he has no articular suspicion of a crime. No, you don't. Where's your evidence? Sir, we're going off what this gentleman just said. What gentleman? The gentleman that's no longer here. what you just stated to me as well. What did I tell you? The gentleman just said to me that he said something along the lines do you want head? No. And then you stated uh, to me, um, you were just in the bathroom asking where the bathroom was. Then I, you also stated, oh yeah, then I said, where's the head? Now, I didn't think he going. understood me. Okay, so I'm now not I'm, answering. I'm not speaking. I, I plead my, I, I'm not saying anything. That's fine. They got a supervisor, right? That's yeah. fine, because this is ridiculous. That's fine, sir. No, nobody's harming okay, you. Nobody's sir, I'm just asking you to stay over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, documenting everything. Film all you would like. Yeah. I'm being detained for five minutes and 25 seconds right now. Illegal. Now I'm going to go park. Uh -huh. I won't go over here. I'm not going anywhere, sir. That's fine. Is this the guy right here? No.
You're illegally detaining me, sir. I've, this is the third time I've told you. You have no articular suspicion that a crime has been committed. Clearly by the gentleman stating what he stated to us, that is enough for us to question you. And the gentleman- You can question me, but I, I, I'm not answering any of your questions. And, and you're illegally that's detaining fine, me. Sir. Right now, you ask for a supervisor. The supervisor is coming. Are you still detaining me? Right now, you ask for a supervisor. I'm supervisor. asking you a specific question. Are you still detaining me? Right now, I'd like I'm to asking, go. Am I being detained? Right now, we're asking for a supervisor, and it's coming. I okay, but now, you. now I'm asking you another question. You told me the supervisor is yes, coming. We're looking into now I'm asking situation. you. Yes, right now. Can we're I speak? Looking, yes, keep right now we're looking into the situation. Okay. So that's so, it. Right so, now we're looking into the situation. Sir, you still haven't answered my question. Sir, right now we're looking. Can into you the please situation. stop interrupting me? You, you said three times you. You fit the description. Okay. And that's what is the description? A gentleman wearing glasses. Okay. White hair on the sides. Okay. And he pointed to you. Right as he was walking away. That's how come I came directly to you. You came directly to him? Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to ask you again. And sir, you asked for the supervisor. I and understand that. Now I'm asking you yes. a specific right, question. Right now, you didn't want to ask it. You don't want to answer any of the questions okay. that we were asking. So now I'm correct. asking you a specific question. Can I please... Right now, till we finish sir, our investigation. Sir, right now, sir you we, keep right interrupting now, me. I finish am... our investigation, then you can leave. Because right now, you fit. It's, it's the same exact description. The gentleman pointed at you. And you're right here. Let me know when I can speak. So that was basically it. Now you asked for a supervisor. You said you didn't want to ask any more questions or speak anymore, correct? No, I, I, I said, I, I, said I wasn't going to answer you're, any you're questions. Exact words where you pled the fifth, right? No, I didn't say. I, I may have said that. The, the no, camera will tell the story because this is going to get this is going to get live right, streamed. Sir. Now I'm going to ask you a question. May I please speak? Because you keep interrupting me. Sir, may you I can speak? No, no, sir. I said you can speak. Let me know when I can speak, without interruption, please. Are you de detaining me right now? Until our investigation is done, yes. Okay. So you're illegally detaining me because you have no crime. Clearly we do, sir. What's the crime, sir? The gentleman stated, Articulate the crime. I just told you multiple times. As you said, your camera... What is the crime? You can review your camera. What is the crime? As you said you can review your camera, sir. What is the crime, sir? Sir, we stated this multiple times to you. And what is the crime? Asking, essentially, lewd questions to a pedestrian and what, what is the penal code on that sir so right now yes for a supervisor, my supervisor what is the penal coming. code what is the penal code can you state my a penal code my supervisor's coming, can you state a penal code sir my supervisor you keep telling me the supervisor's coming i understand that you told and me I'll, 18 times that your supervisor's and coming you go i'm asking back. you to quote a penal code am i being detained still this is 10 minutes and 45 seconds central you better tell him to step it up because you got five problem. more minutes and i'm walking away Am I still being detained, sir? Sir, right now, to we're done with our investigation. How long is right this now. investigation going on? All I do is see you standing here. I don't see you investigating anything. You clearly stated to me that you did not want to answer any questions to my right. supervisor. So what are you doing to investigate, sir? What coming. are you doing to investigate right now, sir? Yeah, Besides you detaining you wanted, me illegally. You my supervisor. What are you, uh, what, I no longer want your supervisor. Am I, am I being detained? It's too late for that. They're coming, sir. Okay. Am I still being detained, They're sir? They're coming, sir. Yes. Right, am I now still... you, right now you're being detained. Okay. So now I'm still sir. being illegal detained. It's been 12 minutes. Our investigation. It's been 12 minutes I've been illegally detained. You should take more time in learning your job. This is the illegal detention, and I'm gonna I'm gonna have your job. Just so you know. I hope that's your boss with the sirens.
Lieutenant Cruz, how can I help you? What's your badge number, Lieutenant Cruz? 38. 38. Mm -hmm. So right now, a gentleman stopped me right there. Stated to me the gentleman would make a good comment to him asking him if he wanted head. Okay. The gentleman gets in his car. As he walks to his car, he points to him right here. Okay. I come up to him. I say, sir, uh, were you speaking to anybody? He goes, no, I was in the bathroom. And I said, did you state any rude comments to the pedestrian? He said, uh, no. I asked him uh, where the head was. I didn't think he understood me. So then I asked the gentleman for his name. Um, he said he refused to give me his name. And then uh, essentially this is where we're at. So he asked for a supervisor. Okay. I said, he asked if he was okay. I said, right now we're doing an investigation. So I'm done speaking to you and done with our investigation. You're being detained right now. And, and that was it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to ask you, am I being detained right now? Because I'd like to go. You want to you wanna go? Yes, ma'am. All right. Hold on, okay? Where's the pedestrian at? The pedestrian got in his vehicle and left right till I immediately came over while he was pointing at it. You going to play it or anything? In the car? No, he walked right into the first car park right there. And mm -hmm. he pulled the camera. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. After watching the video several times, I try to analyze everything that everybody says, every word spoken. What I want to point out is that if a young man really wanted to get this person in trouble, the young man would have stuck around. Could it be that the young man just wanted to get out of the area and point the cop into the direction of something else? Was the boy just mistaken for what he said or was the boy seriously creeped out? What about the man the police are talking to? Did he sound nervous? And the officer, folks, what could the officer have done in this situation? By law, I believe there's nothing the officer could have done. He doesn't have a single articulable fact that the man committed a crime. Since there is no victim, the only thing I think the officer could have done is maybe get the man's license plate or follow him around a little bit just to document it. No matter what, I think this man did a good job by recording the police making sure that his rights weren't violated and the officer didn't know what to do you guys seen that the officer had to call the supervisor supervisor came on scene she looked a bit lazy but she just came on scene and basically realized what happened there there's no crime there's no victim so they let the man go thank you guys for tuning in make sure you send your videos to record police now at gmail.com we will analyze and review them for you guys make sure you subscribe and hit the bell because we're dropping videos every day thank you guys i'll see you on the next one peace